What are the environmental components that a person needs to experience in order to recover from a mental illness? So there's four things that I think are important to have in the environment in order to recover. The first one is relationships, an actual connection to who you are. Being alone, being isolated, being separated is very hard to recover on your own. This is a little harder than it seems because most of us react to people with mental illnesses by distancing ourselves and segregating and staying away. And saying, oh, you have a mental illness, let's stay away from you, it'll be your scarier. All right, I'll just talk to you about your medicine or your illness, but not actually talk to you. So the first thing in the environment is people will actually relate to you as an actual person. Many people in our society can't do that because we're so frightened of people with mental illnesses. They can't say, I'll just have a normal conversation with you even though you have a serious mental illness. Be able to conversate without me using a lot of professional distance, without me getting all frightened, without me making a lot of walls and barriers, without me making every feeling you ever have into a symptom of something. To actually have a relationship with you. That's the first thing you need in the environment. The second thing you need is inclusion. You need to be a part of life. You need to be included in family gatherings, included in church, included in work settings, included in social settings, included in environment things. If your life has gotten so small that the only place that will include you is your mental health office or your psychiatrist's office or your mom is the only one that will talk to you anymore in your back room with your video games all by yourself, you're being excluded from life. You need an environment that actually includes you. Our environment is not terribly tolerant. So if you ha have symptoms that are obvious of mental illness, it's hard to get to be included in other places that really should be welcoming. Third thing the environment needs to have in it is compassion. This means that people have to have their hearts go out to you, not to feel sorry for you, but to actually get how it is to be you, to actually be empathetic. Let me be a little clear about that one with a little story. A man came to my office one afternoon, he held up his hand like this. He said, what do you see? I said, I see your hand. He says, no, no, be more specific. As you may all guess, this man has schizophrenia too. I know a lot of people have schizophrenia. I said, okay, okay, it's late, but I can do this. I can see the swirls of your fingerprints. Everyone's different. I can see the creases in your knuckles. And I can see like your love line and your lifeline. I don't know which one's which, but I can see them. He says, when you can see nails and knuckles and hair, then you will be able to start helping me because you'll be seeing the world from my side instead of from yours. We need to have in the environment people willing to see it from their side rather than ours and it's often very different. I was working with a program the other day, asked them to describe how do you think this person sees themselves? And it was a person who uses a lot of drugs and has psychosis and goes to hospitals and jails and beats up his girlfriend and all these problems. And they said, well, I think he's manipulative and non-compliant. I said, that doesn't sound how he sees himself. How does he actually see himself? And so I said, well, he thinks he's a misunderstood prophet of God. I said, okay, that I'll buy. So are you trying to make a treatment plan, or in answer to this question, are you trying to make an environment that's a successful place for a non-compliant, manipulative mental health patient? Or are you trying to make an environment that will help a misunderstood prophet of God, seeing it from their side? And the fourth thing that you need, oh shit, it, the fourth thing you need is acceptance. People who accept you just the way you are without trying to change you into something else or say you can't be ill anymore. When you go home today, you may stop at a grocery store and see a guy there in a wheelchair. And he's putting the cans on the shelves and the pickles and stuff. And you think, that's pretty cool. Look at that, a guy with a serious physical disability making something of himself being productive. You might go over and shake his hand, well done. You go to that same grocery store, you see a guy who's obviously developmentally disabled. He has Down syndrome, and he's putting the pickles on the shelves and the price tags and stuff. And you think, pretty good, look at that. It was a guy with a serious disability making something of himself being productive. You might go over and shake his hand. You go in that same store and you see a guy wearing tin foil on his head to keep the rays away and talking to himself. You do not think, oh look, isn't this good a person with serious mental illness working and being productive. You think, I, I wonder if he's okay. Uh, where did my kids go? Our first reaction is fear and avoidance. You know, I don't think I need anything on that aisle anyway. 
I wonder if his meds need readjusting. Is he safe here? You know, we're, we avoid, we segregate, we say, you know, you know, mental illness isn't even that contagious. But we make it so you have to be symptom free before you can live and work amongst us. When we can go up to that man and shake his hand, or better yet, when it's just normal, people with serious mental illnesses are working alongside us. If you notice, the wheelchairs have almost disappeared. You don't notice when the store manager comes up in a wheelchair, it just doesn't matter. When we can go, just think that's the way things are, people are accepted with their symptoms, not accepted to make them go away. They're accepted with their symptoms. Then we will be living in the kind of world where virtually everyone with serious mental illnesses can recover. And wouldn't we all be very proud to be in that world?